Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waharacha Kodash, Brakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone, who well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe who may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai. It's the brother Karataza, and I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. Okay, and today's lesson is going to be a, a King James Bible Online verse of the day for Thursday, April 14th, 2022, the year of the turn up, as deemed by the Apostle Tahar of the Great Millstone, which he received from the Rakakwadash, which the Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Okay, he didn't make it up. This is not of him or ourselves. Okay, like the scripture says. In Acts chapter 5, 38 on down, if this be of man, it shall come to naught. But this truth is truly flourishing. And the lesson comes from the book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse 103. And it reads, how sweet are thy words. And this is King David, all right? One of our uh, great forefathers, okay? How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yeah, sweeter than honey to my mouth and this is so true once the heavenly father yahweh brings us into the wisdom and knowledge of this truth it is very sweet it's very great all right and if you notice i said when the heavenly father brings us into it because you know those up under the umbrella of christianity they'll they'll say which many of us came from that all right, they say, oh, I found when I found God. No, we didn't find anything. The Heavenly Father allowed us to come into the wisdom and knowledge. Uh, this truth is very sweet. Uh, it's, it's very sweet to find out that you're Israelite. All right. It's, it, it's sweet to the taste to know that you, whether you be a Negro, a Latino or a Native American or a uh, those who go back to that, that you are the Heavenly Father's chosen people, and ultimately, starting with the elect, you're going to be delivered if you are the elect, we're the hopeful elect, but ultimately, even if you're slated for two-thirds, you're going to wake up into into the kingdom, all right? And you're going to be in your right mind. We're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments in our hearts, all right? Read Hebrews chapter 8. You can start at verse 10, all right? We're no longer going to have to teach each other. Uh, we're not going to be doing these videos, all right, because we're going to be programmed, all right? That's sweetness to us, okay? Let's grab let's grab a, 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 a precept, all right? Um, enough rambling. This is going to be uh, the book of Proverbs, um, chapter 24. Proverbs, chapter 24. And we could read verses 13 and 14, all right? I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to highlight it for, in this sort. Yep. Um, it says, my son, eat thou honey because it is good. And the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste, all right? Uh, honey is good for the body. Not too much, all right? But nonetheless, it's good for the body. But here's the point in verse 14. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it. Then there shall be a reward and thy expectation shall not 
be cut off. All right. Let's get that again in verse 14. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be onto thy soul. All right. When we when we get this truth. All right. When the Heavenly Father allows us to wake up to it and we get it. This truth is sweet, man. Hey, we you you be happy as a a a, 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 a pig rolling around in a muck and mire. All right. The, uh, just to use that analogy, and, and the pig isn't bad. It's an abomination to eat, to digest, but the pig serves its purpose to clean up the earth. So, uh, you know, those of you who have a problem with <laughs> that analogy, I don't, you know, that's the closest one I could think of. A sudden, just elated, all right, to be doing something. But yeah, man, you we be heavy, but there's also a flip side to it because you got to remember the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shah, he's all about balance, all right? He created good and he created evil, all right? Just for an example, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shemel Shah, it tells us in the book of, um, in, in the same book, Proverbs, let's get it, all right? Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. So, yes, this uh, truth is sweet to us, but it also turns bitter, okay? How do we know that? We're going to grab a couple of scriptures. It's not going to be a long lesson, and uh, we, we, we can close out, okay? So, with that, let's go here. We're going to go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter uh, 2. We'll read verses 8, uh, 9, and 10, all right? Uh and it reads, Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 8, But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. Okay? And when I looked, behold, and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was there. A roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me. And it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. These scriptures, all right? He was told to eat these scriptures, all right? Now, let's jump over to Ezekiel uh, chapter 3, uh, one, one, verse, one verse over, all right? Now, we're going to grab Ezekiel chapter 3. We'll start at verse 1. Uh, Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. Eat this roll, meaning eat these, the, take in the whole book, the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures, okay? So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it. And it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. All right. So kind. It was sweet to Ezekiel. All right. Learning this truth, this wisdom and this knowledge. Okay. Uh, so with that, let's go here. We're going to jump over because it gets bitter man. this truth can be bitter. All right. To us in the flesh. All right, it can be bitter mentally. Before we, do, we're gonna go into the book of Revelation, chapter ten. But I, because uh, I have it written down, these precepts. But a precept just came to me that I didn't have written down. We're gonna go into the Apocrypha. We're gonna go into uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, because once we come into this, yeah, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, we God's chosen people. But then guess what? The bitterness comes. All right, because uh, we're going to be, go through sh shit, man. Temptations. You're going to lose. You might, I'm saying, I'm saying you might lose your job. You might lose your woman, your family. All right. Your car might constantly be breaking down. You might constantly be getting flats. That's a, a, a win on the mind. But what does it say here in the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach chapter two and verse one, it reads my son. If thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right. Hey, we got that. This word was sweet. It was good for the soul. I think that was in Proverbs chapter 24. 
All right. So it says, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, meaning your mind, and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right. We have to constantly endure because the spiritual demons, man, especially it's the mental. The, the most hardest part about this truth isn't the physical. It's the mental, man. All right. The spirit is stronger than the flesh. OK, uh, let's get that again. Uh, Sirach chapter two, verse one and two. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right. So many you get you. We have to know that problems are going to arise and set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Because some people who put their hand to this plow, the majority of people who put this hand to the who put their hand to the plow, they're gonna drop it. All right, it's just gonna be a small remnant that uh that see the job done through all the way until the end. Lord willing, I don't I'm of that number. Okay. Lord willing, the Heavenly Father, how about Shema Shai keep the spirit on me? To do the work, all right? Rightfully dividing the word, you know, not making shit up, not making things up, but just breaking these scriptures down the correct way, all right? Not for filthy lucre's sake, none of that. Verse three, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Verse four, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient. When thou art changed to a low estate, because hey, yeah, when we eat this this roll, it's sweet at first, but then it gets, turns to bitter. All right, when hey, we're gonna be brought down to low estates at times. All right, sometimes we're gonna abound, sometimes we're gonna have to abase. All right, like the apostle Paul said. All right, uh, and it says, I'm gonna read the latter part of verse four again, and be patient. When thou art changed to a low state, the word patient means to suffer. It goes back to the word suffer. And we have to suffer, like it says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, with Yahweh uh, verse 17 and 18. All right. If we're going to be joint heirs, if if we're the sons of the Most High and we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, we have to suffer with Yahweh Shai. Hey, the servant is not greater than his master. OK, and Yahweh Shai is our Lord, our King and our Savior, the one whom the real enemy calls Jesus Christ. All right. But his name is Yahweh Shai. All right. He spoke in the Hebrew tongues. Acts chapter 26 and verse 14 tells us that. All right. Verse five in Sirach chapter two. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Verse six, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall. So we got to suffer through that, uh, the sufferings, man. We got to be patient. All right. We have to wait on your how about Shem El Shai. And I can promise you this, as far as my situation go in this walk, the Lord, your how about Shem El Shai has never let me down, not once. All right. He always comes through for me, man. All right. He will lump me up and put my face to the plant my face on in the pavement and mess me up. But he he always has brought me back up to where I'm I'm standing on my feet, man. OK. Uh, verse nine. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. And that's what I, hey, that's what I asked the Lord for this morning. For mercy, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, here, here's verse 10. Let's grab this. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right. So, you know, uh, you can continue reading on and uh, on your own time in Sirach, but I'm going to go into the book of Revelation and close out. All right. This is going to be the book of Revelation, chapter 10. Uh, let me see. We'll start at verse 8. Uh, let me highlight it. 
Kai, this is Revelation chapter uh, 10 and verse 8, and it reads, And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, This is John the Revelator, all right? Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. All right. So once we come to the knowledge of this truth, all through the power and spirit of the heavenly Father, how about Shemel Shai? It's gonna be sweet at first, and it stays. It's sweet all the time, man. It's what I'm not all the time. What I'm saying is knowing that it's sweet. Also, keep in mind that it's gonna be bitter. But it's going to be sweet again. But then at times it's going to get bitter until we're in the kingdom. All right. So we have to constantly endure. Uh, go and take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey and i took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey and as soon as i had eaten it my belly was bitter these scriptures man this bible okay and he said unto me thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings all right that's reincarnation right there all right so with that you know what Lord willing, this video was uh, edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Wahawrakakodash, Brakatham. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone who do well, who taught me this truth, and who labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say, a ball, ball, and shalom.